Tesla is sending out a new email. This time Tesla is promoting safety. And yesterday I did complain about autopilot a little bit, but I have to say that Tesla's collision warning system is very, very, very good. Sawyer made a list of things that the general population know very little, that's nothing about when it comes to Tesla. It includes uh, the point that Tesla insurance exists. You know, every time when Tesla delivers a vehicle, there should be a sticker on the steering wheel with a uh, little sentence that says, Tesla insurance, it exists. <laughs> Although Sawyer might have meant people that do not have a Tesla but are thinking of buying Teslas and therefore uh, they are not fully taking into account that they are actually going to save even more money owning a Tesla because Tesla's insurance is probably cheaper. But it's not available everywhere where I live. You cannot get Tesla's insurance because there's only one insurance company that you can basically work with. Troy thinks that for next year only 2 million and 2.1 million are realistic options for Tesla for his deliveries next year. He doesn't think 2.2 million is possible considering Tesla is demand limited for all models in all regions except for the Cybertruck in the US which is production limited. My guess is that Tesla is more likely to optimize for volume growth at the expense of earnings for the simple reason that this is what Tesla has been doing. But uh, Troy's calculation does not include a possibility that Tesla may start advertising very seriously and that the advertising campaign could be wildly successful. Although pretty much the Cybertruck is an advertising campaign in itself for Tesla because once people start seeing Cybertrucks everywhere, yeah, many of them will want to not just buy a Cybertruck, but maybe a Tesla vehicle. But let's keep in mind that Troy has been very good with predictions uh, that are relatively short term, so 12 months or less. So I think we should seriously consider his opinion here. But if Tesla brings innovative advertising campaigns, then Troy will need to throw out his whole model. Eventually, there is a good chance I will become a SpaceX investor. So I'm highly interested in everything SpaceX related. And Ron Barron, the billionaire who made so much money from Tesla stock, he thinks the returns from SpaceX are going to be even higher than from Tesla going forward. There was just an important test completed. Elon Musk has just completed static fire test of Fly 3 super heavy booster. This is actually a pretty big deal. Despite the last time the booster having all of the engines sinking on the way uphill, uh, it did not happen during the static fire. So it's a pretty important moment. Elon's other companies are also likely to do fairly well, the boring company included. I am surprised. How come no one has figured out a way to invest in all of Elon's companies and just put like a fund together or something like that. I was looking at investing into SpaceX and one of the conditions that they have is that the company that's investing into SpaceX or this fund that invests into SpaceX, it cannot be created just for the sole purpose of investing into SpaceX. Is that the regulation that's holding everyone back? So if you try to create a fund that only invests in Elon's companies, it cannot invest in Elon's companies because that's the only purpose of the fund. But I think you should be able to get around that by investing a little bit into other companies. So why isn't there a fund that invests into mostly Elon's companies? There's definitely a lot of money to be made doing that. So how come no one's doing it? I would like to invest in such a fund, but if there's no such fund, then I would need to create a fund like that myself, which I really don't want to do. So please, anyone with a financial background, if you can put together a fund like that, you can count on me as an investor. <laughs> Someone really called this chart how Lucid Group <laughs> makes us money. <laughs> More like, here's how Lucid Group loses its money. And Alexandra posted a comparison between BYD and Tesla. And you can see that there's more green in the image about Tesla than in this image about BYD. And generally, green is good. But BYD is a pretty strong company. I think they are going to do fairly well. But not as well as Tesla.